Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Patrick and Partners along with Bob Iaccino. So checking in on Tesla, this four hour chart, you can see a little gap up today, filling the gap, testing the rotation zone and just below our 37.5% retracement. So that's where we look for more than one key level we're watching, which was the moving average and the retracement level, the gain retracement, and we call that forming a cluster. This gives us a really nice area now to watch. So let me jump to daily real quick. So you can see slightly higher low, slightly higher high. We've now defined a key range. If I go back to that four hour, what we're watching for. So if we get above today's high, which is six, what is that, 668? Or below the low from yesterday, we'll be watching. That will determine the next direction that we're gonna be following. Remember, we're still in bearish mode. We're against the rotation zone on the daily in the four hour. We've hit the bottom of the rotation zone. Have we, let me see again. No, we haven't hit the bottom of the rotation zone on the weekly, so the weekly still in semi-bullish mode, but and it still favors a bigger pullback. So above the, today's high, we'll be watching for the key levels on the daily chart. Let me just jump there because you can see here, we have the 25% retracement and the declining moving average coming in about 690. So 690 to about 695 is key resistance. If we get above today's high, that's going to be our target and it will also fill this gap. So we have a couple of things. We have the gap fill, we have the GAN level, and we have the declining daily rotation zone. If we get through that, the next area we'll be watching is for this other gap fill and the top of the rotation zone, which are pretty much similar, which is about 722. Below yesterday's low, levels are still the same. You can see here we have the major level at about 570 and then 522. Those are all the key levels to the upside and the downside. Breaking out between yesterday's low and today's high is going to help us determine the next range. If we go into rally mode, we're still in bearish mode. It just means we're expecting higher prices and then the probability that it will roll over again. So we have for you on Tesla, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.